All right, so I'm here with this uh, product here. Now this is a Roommate, so this is a powered wheelchair. Now the reason I actually have interest in it is because my mother did suffer from a stroke about 12 years ago, and we use a powered wheelchair from time to time to get her around when it's too far for her to walk. Now, the key thing with them is they like to travel, so having something that is able to, to pack up, can go in airplane, is airplane approved, to go in the airplane closet on board, which if you know anything, that's, that is a big difference in underneath the, in the cargo hold area. And so it also folds up nice and neat and is very light. It's 37 pounds without. The, I'm gonna just show you here what it does because it transforms into a couple different uh, configurations between a wheelchair and a walker, uh, powered and unpowered. All right, so this uh, one is set up. It's got a, a keypad here that you can adjust the speed. It's got three different speeds, uh, up to about 3.7 miles per hour or six kilometers per hour. It's two, four, and six kilometers per hour. I can press it and go. I can stop very quickly. It can turn around and rotate. It's very easy to do with this little joystick on the right-hand side. And then I can hit a parking button um, and park it. I can also um, see the battery life that's on here. And then these armrests are adjustable. So each of these, this one's set at the wheelchair standard height, but if you want to go higher or lower, you can do that. It's whatever is you know, most comfortable for the person. And then when you stop pressing it, it automatically locks itself so it's braked, so it doesn't roll away, which is a nice feature. You can also press a button on the uh, keypad here and put it into a park mode as well, which disables the, uh, the joystick. Now, if I wanna switch it from the wheelchair to a walker mode, I can flip this forward, and then I can grab these and raise these up however high I, I need them to be. They have numbers on them so you can keep them equal to the same ones. And then you uh, press and hold a button here, and that's gonna switch it into the walker mode. That slows it down to one, um, two, and three uh, kilometers per hour for walking speed. So I just press this button. Now it will power. Now if I don't wanna power, I can also just push it. It's all freewheeling in this mode. So I can just walk with it if I need help to walk it. So it replaces a walker as well. In the case of my mother, we could get her in the wheelchair, get her there, and then she can literally use this <coughs> for the walker part as well, which is <coughs> a nice feature. Okay, so then to uh, fold it up, you just lower these down all the way. I can fold up the uh, leg rest here. There's a little switch I just slip on there, and then I grab the handle in the middle, and I pick it up, and then you can lock it into place. There is a, um, a little strap here that you grab. It is a little bit tight. You pull that, it's elastic, and then that's what holds it together. So now, this unit with the battery, like I said, is a little over 40 pounds, but this can fit in a closet um, and, or throw it in the back of the car very easily. All right, so to unfold it, I just grab this hook, undo it, I can slide it out, and you wanna press down on it to collapse it and pick it up. And then I might wanna adjust these armrests up one notch. I can press the power button on the battery. I can then flip these down. This is my probably only um, complaint about it is these are kind of far out there. They're wide. They do make an accessory to have a kind of cloth between them. I think that makes a lot more sense. But otherwise, I press the power button, and now I am good to go um, once it powers up. There we go. I can now drive around. All right, so here is the keypad. You can see that my battery lights have all four battery lights. Here you can see it's in wheelchair mode, so that means that it will drive. It's in the second speed. I can go down to speed, up to speed, and then I can switch it from wheelchair to park. That's gonna engage the locks on those rear wheels so it stays put. But also, again, if I am uh, stopped, it does automatically kind of put on the brakes for you, uh, but the park disables the joystick as well. And then uh, if I want to change it to the uh, walker one, this is where you press and hold this button. And then they see that yellow light came on, these lights came off. That tells you it's in the, uh, the walker mode there. Okay, so now what I plan to do is get one of these actually um, so I can demo it with my mother so we can test it out. She has another power wheelchair that's kind of a similar uh, design to competitor one. 
we're gonna test this out. This one's supposed to be a little bit lighter, maybe more maneuverable, and we're gonna give it a try, uh, get her traveling with it on an airplane to see how it goes. So uh, stay tuned to my channel. I'll have a video of that later this year.